Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my Pay Debt With Me number two video for the month of August. Um, Let's hop right on in here and condense these messages. I think this is all just announcing stuff we already know. Yep, it is. So I don't know how many of you guys are excited that they've extended the student loan repayment thing i am because there's more interest-free payments <laughs> that i can make on my student loan so let's go through my account summary so for the payments and billing uh, my last payment was 1087 dollars and um you'll see my outstanding balance is currently at ten thousand four hundred fifty three dollars um Kate Spirit, 9655. She asked a very good question. She said she would like to know the stats of how many people are taking advantage of this um, interest-free period. I only saw one article on that, and it was just capturing just one information from one of the uh, loan servicing providers, which was Nelnet. And it was not looking good. I think that what they were explaining was... Um, how you know like y'all saw my student loans and y'all saw how at one point what i owed was not what i borrowed because of the capitalized interest and y'all know i have videos all about that and i'll try to make sure that i include them in the description box below just in case somebody's interested in understanding what i mean so it's like for the loan let me go back to the loan details so as an example, for the loan that I'm currently working on, which I call it T20, they just call it 20. Um, why am I trying to click on that number? No one, it ain't blue. <laughs> um, you'll see the original balance was $12,000. But at the beginning of my um, financial freedom journey, I actually owed $15,000. And so that was the effects of capitalized interest. And one of the things that I had saw in that article was that like when people called in because they had problems and stuff, they encouraged people to um, go on for forbearance where one of the effects of forbearance is you take that time and you're getting yourself back on your feet once that's over with that period ends they capitalize the interest so they're adding any unpaid interest to your principal so your principal balance has the potential to be higher than your original balance and then if you're doing the idr like I was doing, um, the income driven repayment plans. That's what I do. And so that's why you see my repayment plan is revised pay as you earn. Sometimes those payments aren't high enough to even cover the interest. So every time you recertify, there's more interest been added to your principal balance. So they were talking about the effects of that as well as like stagnant wages and stuff like that. So um, it, it wasn't looking too good, but that's not saying that's the thing overall for all student loans and stuff. So I didn't get to see that, but I was kind of shocked at the way the loan servicing providers were encouraging certain behaviors that would have a negative effect on the borrower. And, um, it was, you know, it was a little bit eye opening and it, it just goes to show that the rules for these companies, it, they need to be a little bit more strict. So they're really, really helping people and not helping people um, make decisions that work against them because they don't really understand how it works. Okay, so for this payment, I'm making a payment of 1813. So I'm looking down, I'm looking at my budget in front of me but yeah that was very very eye-opening but it kind of went back to something i think i was telling you guys about i was trying to get back to a normal payment and so i remember reading all i had to do was nothing and i remember calling fit long and she told me to fill out something else and i was like well don't i have to do nothing you know like this is what i read and we're just talking and then she was like no you need to fill out this form blah 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 and that'll get you to the 800 dollar payment that i was looking for at that time and so i'm thinking i'm doing the right thing 
and then I get a bill for five thousand dollars. <laughs> and every time I did that, they were capitalizing the interest. So she told me a call back, and you know, I told y'all about how you know she's like, "Oh, I don't know who said." It. I'm like, "It was you, really," and. <laughs> <laughs> because I keep track of this crap when I'm talking to people. And um, she tells me something else. But something was like, don't do that. This girl don't know what she's talking about. And I did the IDR as I normally had. But, in you know, I just made it the payments myself for the amount that I wanted to go to them. So that way I can make sure I cover the interest. But it's because I had that knowledge and I was paying attention to things as well as, you know, like knowing and watching my credit report and knowing that sometimes like when my payments um, were due on Saturday or Sunday, they took that money out on Friday, but they reported to the credit um, agencies that my payment was late. So how, how, how does that happen? So, you know, there's a lot to this. And a lot of times when you're looking at the big number, and you're overwhelmed by what you owe in student loans, it keeps you from digging in and understanding that some of these companies, they ain't right. <laughs> so I am going to come back on screen once we get to the confirmation page. So let me post this payment. So yay, that payment has posted. Um, I am going to be under $10,000, y'all. Yay. <laughs> Um, yay, I'm super, super happy because that means that, you know, I'm down to a four digit debt, y'all. I mean, after coming from what, a hundred thousand, it feels great, but yeah, y'all be careful out there with student loans, um, and understand what's going on. If you're going to refinance to a lower interest, understand, um, the effects, you know, like what's really happening here. Um, I remember that being when I came onto YouTube, I do remember that being the advice I got. Refinance your student loans, refinance your student loans. And I think there were other people on YouTube refinancing their student loans and they were refinancing them to private companies. And yes, those interest rates did look good, but I was just like, nah, nah. And I honestly, you know, I ain't no fortune teller. So I, <laughs> I ain't no fortune teller. I ain't no whatever those, a medium. I don't see the future. I don't talk to anybody. So I didn't see this coming. And then when it came, it was just like, yes, I'm so glad that I said no to refinancing my student loans to a private company because I was still been paying interest. Now I'm not paying any interest. So yeah, but yeah, I did see that one article, Case Bear. I'm going to see if I can find the name of it uh, because it was in the Apple News app on my phone and I was um, getting my oil change when I saw it and I was just like, Hmm. Case Bear just asked about something that showed the stats and they started going through the effects of student loans and student loan servicing providers and the advice that they give to um, borrowers and <laughs> how that advice works against them. So, but thank y'all so much for watching. We are about to be under four digits. I am just like, where's my stuff? What planet am I on? And, um, what is that? 10,000? Yeah. So, woo. I know I'll be under 9,000. It's the calculator. Where's the calculator? Let's, let me do my math. 18, 13, 86, 40. Uh, so, yeah. And so, you know, like I did take some money to put to my utilities. So, because I know that thing is going to, um, that portable unit, that portable AC unit that they put in is going to blow my um, utility bill straight up because it's, it's constantly running because of the amount of air it puts out and the size of my apartment. It's not enough to cool it down. So it never shuts off. So... Yeah, that's going to be a factor, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to rock and roll, uh, stay calm, do what I've been doing, document, 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 and, and, and go about my business. But this is great, y'all. This is super fantastic uh, because $8,640. Did I do my math right? That's... Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs>
I will take it. So thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a super fantastic day. I will make sure I have in the description box below a video where I explain capitalized interest and the payments. And also I will see if I can find that article on um, about the student loans and this interest-free time period. And it was kind of sad, very, very sad. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully something, you know, like they'll come through with, you know, the student loan forgiveness that they claim that they're going to do, um, you know, hopefully. So, but y'all have a great day and I will talk to you guys on Thursday where we will be going over my September monthly budget. So, yay, I got it done. <laughs> but y'all have a great one. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.